Does anybody here know what an idol is? What's an idol? Okay, someone you look up to, that's the way we use it today, right? Any others? A fake god, right? Yeah, that's, that's what it originally means. Like a statue of a god. Oh, that's right. Guess what? I have a picture of an idol here. You guys can see that. That's a statue of a fake god. And people actually will worship this statue. This is called the Buddha of 10,000 hands. Can you see all the little hands on that Buddha? See all those hands? They're all over the place. And people will worship this idol. You know, you can't count them. There's not enough time to count them. You have to go there and spend a long time counting all those hands. And people will actually worship this god. It's an idol. It's a fake god, just like you guys said. That's what the term idol means. People will make little statues, and they'll call them gods, and then they'll worship them. How do you think that makes the real god feel? What do you think that helps? I like it. Yeah, mad, right? Why? Why would that make him feel mad? Yeah, they're worshiping something other than they're supposed to. Him. That's right. Jealous. Yeah, because he deserves our worship. He's the only one that deserves our worship. So that gets him kind of upset. And he tells us in that passage that I just read for you, God says, don't make idols and don't worship them. But as you guys already started to hint at, idols as statues, that's just one way to make idols, isn't it? We can have idols, other things that are idols that we worship. You know what it means to worship something? It means to make it the most important thing in your life. So if I ask you right now, just think in your head, I don't want you to answer out loud, but I just want you to think in your head, what's the most important thing to you in your whole life? What's the most important thing? Now think about your answer. Don't say it out loud. If the answer wasn't God, whatever the answer was, was an idol. Did you know that? Because God is the thing that God is the person who deserves to be the most important thing in your whole life. And if we make anything more important than God, that thing becomes an idol. And that makes God a little sad. And he's a little jealous. See, God wants us to make him the most important thing so that he can bless all those other important things. Because those things are important, aren't they? Some of those things that you're thinking probably are important. But only when we worship God first and make him the most important. Will he bless all those other things that we also think are important? Whether it be games that we like to play or people that we love or hobbies that we do or work that we're working on. If it's something other than God, it's important, but it's not the most important. And that's what God wants us to do with, with him, is to make him the most important and to get rid of all these other things that we call idols. And like you said, sometimes people can be idols. People that we look up to, people that we admire, people that we want to be like. We should idolize God. We should worship Him. We should want to be like Him. Right? Let's pray and ask God to help us do just that. Okay? Heavenly Father, You are the only true God. Everything else we worship is an idol. Help us to see that. Help us to recognize idols and to make them less important and make you the most important in our lives. We pray in Jesus' name.